hearing systems, they have a maximum force output they can transmit. When the input sound level plus the amplification reaches this maximum output, the sound gets distorted. Uh, listening to speech with a device that has a higher maximum forced output can reduce the listening effort. In other words, the allocation of mental resources that are required in order to process speech can be reduced when listening to a less distorted speech signal. In this study, we wanted to see how much extra effort it is to, for the brain to process such a distorted sound. The participants performed a speech and noise test. Their task was to listen to speech and noise, retain for three seconds and repeat back afterwards. With an eye tracking camera, we then recorded their pupil dilation as an indicator of their listening effort. We used the Ponto Pro, which has a low maximum output. Then we used the Ponto 3, which has a higher maximum output. And then the Ponto 3 Superpower, which has a very high maximum output. The speech level was individually adjusted to reach the maximum output of the Ponto Pro, but not the maximum output of the Ponto 3 Superpower. This means that we were comparing listening effort with a device where speech would be distorted and a device where the sound would not be distorted. The results showed that there was a significantly lower effort when using the Ponto 3 and the Ponto 3 Superpower as compared to the Ponto Pro, as indicated by overall pupil size. In particular, there was a significant reduction in pupil dilation by 38% with the Ponto 3 as compared to the Ponto Pro, and by 50% with the Ponto 3 Superpower as compared to the Ponto Pro. By using the Ponto 3 Superpower, which has a higher maximum force output, we can reproduce a larger variety of input sound levels more naturally and the brain requires significantly less effort to process the sounds. So we need less resources every day to process and understand speech. Mm -hmm.